Hi all, I'm going to do a little video of uh, demonstrating or at least showing uh, how I chose to ground my station. There's there's a many ways of doing it and there's no really the best way. There's just poor, better, and 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 better. Um, and there's there's no perfect uh, way to ground everything. So I'll demonstrate. I'll try to try to show you best I can here how I've done a few things. It's kind of tight back here, but um, one thing I did is uh, all my gear. I don't know if you can see back here. I have a strap. This is for some of my audio gear. I'm all my audio gear uh, and all my gear in general is using a braided strap to a common point. In this case, it is, see if I can get this in here. I can see what I'm doing back here to my radio. Everything is a central point back to the radio. The amplifier has a strap off to the amplifier. And then the radio has uh, the thick strap or braid that runs down and uh, runs down to a ground rod. This under my bench back here, get to it. Um, let's see, I think I need a light. Let's see if I can turn the light on. So you can see down here, The braid runs off to the radio, and then that's a uh, eight foot five eighths ground rod, and that's a number four solid that runs to another ground rod. So I have a ground rod right here in the shack for the radios, but I bond all my ground rods together, and eventually that number four solid you saw runs all the way to my tower and antennas. So that number four solid runs over here past my electronics bench. And then electronics bench you can see has a nice uh, copper strap ties to some of the electronics equipment. But there is another ground rod. Let's see if I can't get to it that, that way. Let me get a flashlight here real quick. Let's stare at some of my HP gear on the bench for repair. It's another ground rod. Back here, you can see it down there. And that's tied to the number four solid to the one underneath my radio bench. But then it runs along here back behind the safe and equipment to a feed through panel. Let me pull this out of the way. This big bird dummy load that's pulling this all down. Pull this out. So here's my um, aluminum wall plate where I have all my coax and power so that's a 30 amp, 120 volt, and that's a, a 40 amp, 230 volt for the amplifier. That's for all the radio gear, that's for the amplifiers. That uh, number four solid there bonds to this plate. Obviously, the plate's my cellar. We're gonna go in there in a second. Okay, we're in the cellar, and uh, here's the other side of that plate. All the uh, feed lines tying to it, and the number four solid on this side then goes down there's a another eight foot five eighths ground rod buried under the ground here and the copper number four solid copper all my rods and connections that are buried have all have exothermic bonds so they're all one piece and then i feed my uh had some lmr 600 feed line which i feed into a conduit which I then run across the cellar underground. Now, uh, like I said, they're all bonded together. So there's this ground rod here in the cellar. Then I have 
another one right about here and it's bonded then it continues over here so this ground rod here is kind of a central point from here that's my uh, service panel entry ground and that's a whole house 240 volt surge suppressor so the service panel bonded to this central point then the house eufer is bonded then i, I extend it over to my cable entry panel which is back here so that's a uh, number four solid that comes up feeds through here and i'll take you outside to show you the cable entry panel so here's the other side this is the cable entry panel it's a kf7p heavy galvanized powder coated entry panel and that's uh the wire number four solid wire that ties to this copper plane that's the uh lmr 600 these are morgan system surge suppressors lightning arresters one for hf over here vhf uhf over here uh, this uh, hf is for a step ir db36 and the vhf uhf is for a diamond x 300 2 meter 440 and this is for the uh orion g2800 uh, g2 rotor and then uh the copper uh, sheet ties with three and a half inch strap down to that's a 10 foot three quarter inch ground rod which also then ties to my tower sandwiched between stainless steel to the uh, one of the tower legs another tower leg here that's number two solid that uh, is bonded uh, all the way 10 feet down. So this number two solid wire here goes down the side of the wall. It's not in the concrete, it's between the dirt and the concrete, runs down the wall 10 feet down, the hole's 10 feet deep, to a number 10 solid, or sorry, to a number 10, uh, a 10 foot uh, three quarter inch ground rod, it's bonded there. And it, so it's, I have 20 vertical feet of ground between, between this connection and that connection. But then for redundancy, third leg, again, that's uh, um, a uh, stainless steel L bracket to a number two solid copper. It's just tinned, which runs back here to another exothermically bonded 10 foot ground rod. And that one's just more for redundancy. And uh, here's the tower. The step IR is not on at the moment. So 70 foot tower. So that's how I did my uh, ground system. So I have three 10 foot, three quarter inch rods. And then in the cellar, there's one, two, three, uh, five eighths, eight foot rods. And then in the shack, there's two more uh, rods and everything is everything is 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 bonded together every connection that's underground is exothermically bonded everything above ground is clamped so everything uh, will rate rise and drop to the same potential should there be an issue but mostly i did it for noise for static noise um and uh it works quite well